सो हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू अर चैनल मैं हूं आपका अपना डीसी टेक्निकल एंड टूडे वी नॉट चॉक अबाउट अनदर कस्टम रॉम फॉर अवर शॉमी इलेवन जी प्रो दिस टाइम वी आर यूजिंग सी आर डिरोड रॉम विथ लॉर्ड्स एंड लॉर्ड्स ऑफ कस्टमाइजेशन सो वॉट वी आर वेटिंग फॉर लेट्स बिगेन बिफोर द बिगनिंग ऑफ दिस वीडियो आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू दैट इफ यू लाइक द वीडियो If you subscribe to my channel and if you share this video to someone, then you'd never know whom you're gonna help. So let's just get started. So this is our Xiaomi 11T Pro with 6.67 inches screen, 108 megapixel primary camera, 5 megapixel telephoto macro, and a 8 megapixel. ultra wide camera screen comes with 120 hertz dual speakers triple microphone and 120 watts of charging with 5000 mah battery so let's get started about our cr droid ram initially i was not getting good battery backup on this ram but i have done some tweaks and after that i got 7 hour 33 minutes and 7 hour 17 minutes of battery backup in two test how what the tweaks are the same basic tweak is that i disable the system apps disable the printing services and disable the usage access for our google play services and play store and that fixed the issue the issue was that device was not going in the deep sleep so it was waking up again and again and was using the battery without my confirmation or without my notice so i fixed it by disabling the apps disable the apps which you don't use in the system that's it let's start with our battery charging test so now the phone is on 1% and we will check the charging we will do the charging test i will be setting an stopwatch in my watch wait a minute stopwatch and go charging started it's on 1% and we are on 5 seconds mark now we will see after 10 minutes how much charging completed so we have now reached 5 minutes mark and we will now check the charging percentage and it's 27% in 5 minutes you can see very well i don't know why my camera is not focusing 27% in 5 minutes and i would like to tell you that in this rom you can even see the charging volt wattage 116.6 wattage you can also see those details now we will continue on 10 minutes or 15 minutes mark now we are at 10 minutes mark and now we will check the charging percentage and it's on 47% 47% and it's showing the same details down there that charging at 116 wattage it shows the initial charging wattage only it's not like and battery the temperature is 39 degrees celsius and it's on 48 right now let's continue on 15 minute mark we have now reached our 15 minutes mark and now we going to check the battery percentage and it's on 68% with what's the voltage 9.4 voltage 40 degrees celsius i think this wattage is showing from the first charge only when we started but degrees 40 degrees celsius all the social media apps like facebook whatsapp instagram everything is running in the background nothing is closed we have our back cover on and charging via a our 120 watt adapter don't go on the sticker i have pasted it here so we are on 69% now i will continue this video when we have completed fully that is on 100% for my eagerness i thought i should also check on 20 minutes mark and it's on 83% in 20 minutes with 38 degree celsius and 9 voltage you can see that the water has dropped because the battery is reaching 
on the completion mark so every charger drops it we are on 83 percent right now i don't know something is wrong with my camera today it's not focusing at all anyways it's legible i guess so let's move on to our next mark so we have now reached our 25 minutes mark and now we will check the percentage and it's on 96 percent wow 97 it is it will take one or two more minutes you can see all the applications are running in the background even network is on and wi-fi is also on wi-fi is also on mobile data working everything is working okay what's the voltage 54 watt 9 volt 37 degrees celsius you can see the battery temperature is dropping with increasing charging percentage because of the decreasing charging current so it's on 97 percent on 25 minutes mark let's see how much more it takes we are on 28 minutes 10 seconds mark and it have reached 100 percent in 28 minutes you can see it's charged fully with all the applications running 28 minutes pixel experience took 32 minutes to charge full and it take 28 minutes that means four minutes of difference that is more or less temperature or even charging time difference like uh, today's temperature a little bit less as it's raining outside a lot a lot of rain here and because of temperature charging speed do increases if temperature is less and one more thing when I have charged it in the pixel experience I charge it from 0 to 100 but today I charge it from 1 to 100 so that 4 minute difference is from that percentage of charging that means the charging speed depends upon your vendor not your ROM you are getting almost same speed of around 30 minutes of charging time from 1 to 10 1 to 100 percent in all the custom GSIs you are gonna you're gonna try in this phone so let's now continue with our video recording this video from back camera at 1080p 60fps and voice is also being recorded via its internal microphone crowded area so noisy the Sarah's festival of India is going on that's why everyone is enjoying their holiday let me zoom in, working fine, zoom out, working fine. So video recording is more or less same as pixel experience, no change whatsoever. Recording this video on 4K 60fps, no change from pixel experience, same experience, everything is same. Zooming is also nice, everything is good. Let's see some camera samples now. So recording this video from the front camera of this phone and audio is also being recorded via its internal microphone. And the video is more or less the same. Photos is also the more or less the same as pixel experience. That's why I'm not stressing, not stressing on this part as much because the video and audio sample basically depends upon your vendor and the camera app you are using, I am using Vichaya Gcam, that's why. Let's continue with our video. Recording this video in 1080p 30fps and audio is also being recorded via its internal microphone. And camera is, yes, more and less the same as Pixel Experience ROM, Vichaya Gcam mod. As it works in Pixel Experience, it working the same. No change whatsoever. It's exactly the same. Recording this video on 4K 30fps now. Same, same, same. Everything same as pixel experience. No change, nothing. Let's move on to our next part of the video. Starting with the photos and photos are exactly, not even more or less. It is exactly same as what we used to get in our pixel experience ROM on the Vichaya Google G cam app because it's same hardware same vendor basic 
your sources are also same for the camera the camera app is same everything is same as pixel experience for the camera so the camera's quality is exactly the same but i wanted to add some samples so that you get to know what the quality is after the samples of these photos we will switch to bgmi or pubg gaming and i would like to show you a very best thing about this gaming because we get 90 fps option in this rom so let's begin with the pubg pubg in other countries or bgmi in india experience is same as that what is it was in pixel experience rom so i won't focus on it a lot but i want to show you one thing that you can see it very well that it's on 90 fps full fledged game mode is there in this rom so you can see that it's on 90 fps i would like to show you the settings also like if i go to uh, if i go to here settings and graphic you can see very well that 90 fps is supported on smooth not on balance not on hd nothing on smooth in every phone it's on on smooth only so it is supported and you can go to the settings you can see fps enable mode performance mode standard mode battery saver mode everything is there game space full fledged game space is here in fact you even get an option of game space in the me menu itself you can even add the games you want in the game itself so this is something i liked a lot this rom have a lots of customization feature more than better than pixel experience plus gsi let's move on to our next task this rom comes with lots and lots of customization features let me show you in the settings go to the bar uh, cr droid settings and here are the customization features you know you can change status bar icons clock style clock date network traffic monitor like you can customize your status bar and quick settings as you like <clears throat> the font size which font custom fonts position battery styles where you want to show your time do you want to show your date or not everything now let's go to the second menu quick settings i told you about quick settings you can change the position change the font everything you can even resize it as much as you like this is our lock screen you want to show the song media art like carrie patty singing or carrie minari singing whatever you can show it on your lock screen tap to sleep fingerprint authentication vibration if you want your fingerprint sensor when you touch it it opens to vibrate then you can select it i have deselected it as it requires a lot of battery and it irritates me a lot yo but i have selected it for error so that i got to know that yes i have entered the wrong fingerprint next is our navigation bar you i don't use navigation bar i use that gesture so of no use to me but still if you use the navigation bar you got all the options here buttons you can even customize your power menu whatever settings you want advanced reboot you want it or not everything you can do it <clears throat> this is your user interface ambient display charging animation screen of animation navigation style font i have selected oneplus font because i like oneplus fonts a lot so i have selected oneplus slate you can see it it's marked oneplus slate font you can change the icon pack i have set Xperia icons here in the status bar because I like Xperia icons. This is notifications. You can change that font. This is sound. You can even set the volume steps. This is the one of the best thing I have got in this ROM that you have the option to select the volume steps. Like if you want to increase the volume, music volume, like if you are on the fourth step and you are going to five and it increasing your voice of music a lot then you can simply increase your steps from 25 to 30 and then it will increase your voice little less when you increase one step so this was something really awesome this is another option which i think is most useful for many people is 
unlock higher fps in games that means you can unlock 90 fps in your pubg unlimited photo storage it will show you as you are using a pixel phone so you will get got to know that your photos app will show that you are getting up unlimited storage like see it here the pixel can back up unlimited photos because it spoof it as pixel pocket detection is also there but don't use it on this phone as uh, this phone have a poor proximity sensor and most of the time it will show you that you are your phone is in pocket lots and lots of customization loved it let's go to our next task so this was our video about the custom rom cr teroid on xiaomi 11t pro you like the video i'm sure you would have liked it so like the video subscribe to our channel and do share the video you never know whom you gonna help with one share so this is dc technical logging off jai hind